Jingying from Chinese Taipei against Evgenia Kuzetskaya of the Russian Federation. And we are here in Spain at the Carolina Marin Sports Plaza in Puelven. And uh, so far it has been a very, very interesting day. It's been some good badminton. And as I said, the next match coming up is the world number one for Chinese Taipei, Tai Su Ying. against Evgenia Kusetskaya of the Russian Federation. And we of course will turn our attention to the top as Tai Su Ying is seated number one in the tournament and the winner of this match will play the winner of Yeo Jamin from Singapore or Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland. the two players coming on to court. And it's a tall order for Kusetskaya from the Russian Federation. Presently number 27 on the world ranking. So let's turn the attention to the top of the coin. And as you can see, the head-to-head -head between these two players. It was a match played back in 2017 at uh, the Cup, so that's an awful long time ago, and it's 1-0 in favour of the world number one. Of course, Skya won the toss, and she chose ends. And if I'm not mistaken, she's chosen the uh, slower end of the two on the court, and... Uh, Let's see whether that's going to benefit her campaign here in this match. Tai Su Ying has only played four tournaments here in 2021. She's got one win and three times she's been a runners-up. She's 27 years of age and... Uh, she has spent a staggering 194 weeks as world number one over five different spells. And the first time was in December 16. And uh, the last time was just today when the ranking was announced. She had a bye in the first round, which means that she did not compete as a seeded player. <coughs> where her opponent has played one match. The other day she played Clara Hasamendi of Spain where she won quite comfortably in two straight games, 21-11, 21-11. She won a European silver at the European Championship. She won silver back in 2018 and that was actually here in Huelva. So Hopefully it's happy hunting ground for Kusetskaya if you're a fan of her. She's 27 years of age and presently number 27 on the world ranking and that's bait on 37 tournaments. But she has spent four weeks as number 20 and the last time was in June 2018. Apart from the silver at the European Championship, she won a bronze at the European Games in 2019. Rest and she qualified for the World Tour Finals in 2020. First time she's qualifying at the World Tour Finals. Her opponent from Chinese Taipei, she won the Asian Games in 2018. She has actually won three times the Super Series or World Tour Finals, three times All England winner and silver at the Olympics in 2020 just a few months ago. The umpire for the match is Fabio Lopez of Brazil. And uh, the service judge is Cabotzil of Botswana. So it's Kusa Sky to get this match on its way. On my right, Tai Tzu in Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Yevgenia Butsitskaya, NBFR. 
Jevgenia Zetskaya to serve Love O play. Yeah, first so few shots we one, already got a taste of Tai Su Ying as a very, very skillful player. Good judgment, just wide of the sideline. Two, low. Tai Su Ying has taken part in uh, the World Championship five times previously. And the uh, first time was back in 2013. All five times she has reached the quarterfinal. But having been world number one for almost four years, one would have thought that perhaps she would have won a world championship as well. But let's see what the campaign will be like this year. Standing a very good chance, I think, Tai Su Ying in this tournament. A long, long rally that stayed in on the back line. The interesting thing is that her opponent from the Russian Federation has also played five times at the World Championship and her first time was in 2014. However, she's only played three times in women's singles, which is 17, 18 and 19, and hasn't passed the second round. But she competed in the World Championship in the mixed doubles in 2014 and in the women's doubles in 2015. So she has competed in all three disciplines at the World Love. Championship. Good start here for Tai Su Ying. Four love up. that one very early, Tai Su Ying. So a beautiful shot from uh, Kusetskaya. Yeah, well played by the Russian player. Great, so great player. One, In my personal four. opinion, I really think that she has improved quite a lot over the last few years. Her pace on court so much better now than it was three, four years ago. And I can tell you that her sporting hero is actually Lin Dan of China. Good pressure from Tai Su Ying. Over. Had the option Five. of going cross One. court, but chose to punch and clear down the line. Look at this, can go cross court. And I think Kosech Guy was actually anticipating that. Sensover, two, five. Three, five. Should Tai Su Ying win this World Championship, this tournament, it would actually be her 30th tournament win in her career. She's on 29 at the moment. Six, three. Seven, 
So this is the first time since the Olympics that Tai Su Ying is entering a tournament. He's been absent from the circuit since the Olympics in Tokyo. Since over in August. Four, seven. It's been a very hectic schedule for a lot of badminton players travelling the world for the past three months from tournament to tournament. However, Tai Su Ying chose to take a little bit of time off. Sense over. Eight, four. Call in, you and I think it's a wise it's challenge. A it's very, challenge. very close. Call in. But whether it's out is another question, but I think it's extremely close. Let's see what the instant review system is going to tell us. Yeah, it's in. Good shot from Tai Su Ying. Successful. One challenge remaining. Nine, four. Play. over. Five. Nine. And this time, once again. Inside the line, it's just very, very, very good accuracy from uh, Tai Su Ying. He will have a second look at it, leaving that one for look just on the line. Tai Su Ying goes into the mid game interval with a lead of 11-5 after just seven minutes of play. Yeah, I think she is looking very, very happy to be back in Bampton and I can assure you we are quite a few, I'm sure, that is very, very happy to see her back on the circuit. Cut one, 20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds. It's tough to see where Kusetskaya is going to win her points against a player of the quality of Tai Su Ying. But she's got to stay patient Great. and possibly put on a good pressure on the back of the court. That's what she's doing right there. Twice now, three times. That's pretty good, but the attempted kill at the net is simply not of good enough quality. Too easy for Tai Su Ying to just bend down, play the shot over her opponent. Lovely shot from Kuzetskaya. I really love that backhand shot. Got out of trouble cross court. And then a lovely sliced forehand to forehand shot. Good balance. And of course, very, very accurate. Good play.
Over fourteen eight. Yeah, she has hardly made a mistake, Tai Su Ying. Almost scoring points eight. at will. I like that follow-up, closing in at the net by Kusitskaya. And this time she was far more decisive. And if you try to do that at home in your training, I'm telling you, that would take a lot of practice to do. Because now it's a... Perfect, perfect shot from that around the head situation from Tai Su Ying. That's over. 10, 16. Shots down the line 17. first on the backhand Ten. side. And then, of course, it's opening up for this cross-court smash. And once again, finding the line. Oh, mamma mia. What a good shot. 18-10. Looks like she can do nothing wrong at the moment. Nineteen ten. I think one have to spare a little thought for Kuzetskaya. She is in a very, very tricky spot here. In all honesty, I cannot see where she's going to score the points. How oh, she's going to add enough pressure on her opponent to force her into error. And the opening game, 21-10 in just 13 minutes of play. Seems extremely determined, Tai Su Ying. Maybe the little break has done her very good. Of course, it was the major disappointment to her when uh, she lost the final at the Olympics in Tokyo to Chen Fei from China. But what a match it was. So close. Losing 18-21, then winning 21-19 and losing 21-18 in the third and final game. And that was an awesome final to watch, and I was very lucky to be there and do the commentary. Good one. 
20 seconds. Third one, 20 seconds. Okay, second part. Second game, love all. We're ready to play. commence the second game. Tai Su Ying serving love all play. And that's a good answer from Kusetskaya. Love that smash. One, love. Good angle to the shot. Winners Over. at will, but I think One, that because it's Sky did really well in that rally. I think she really stood her ground well, but had no answer to the last shot. And it was good pace. And this time it's a miss. Wide of the sideline. Three, one. That's good. As my colleague would say, this is ridiculous. It's over. Two, three. Really well played here by Tai Su Ying. And one have to spare yet another thought for Kusetskaya played so well at the net, however, did not get the point. It's over. Four, two. I don't understand Four. Russian, but I do understand the facial expression and I can completely concur with her. It must be rather frustrating. But good never say die attitude from Kusetskaya. I really admire that. Well left on the back line. And so far, five, three. Tied to in challenge call. In. Yeah, the shot is called in, but I think Tai Su Ying has got a good case here, even though I'm um, definitely not sitting in the right spot to call that one, but it looked actually out from here. Well, let's see. Uh, it's definitely out. Correction, out. So it was a good challenge by Tai Su Ying. Sense over. Four, five, play. Yeah, locking it caught there from uh, Tai Su Ying. Five, all.
seven, five. Once again, the attack is working very well in favour of the top seed player. And there's something Kosechkaya needs to go on and do some more practice when it comes to her defence. I think on many other aspects in the game, she has actually improved a lot. top of the tape and the line as well doesn't get much better than that does it eight six to the world number one seven over seven eight and once again good anticipation from uh, Krusetskaya, standing the grounds very well at the front of the court. Sensova, nine, seven. Pressure is relentless from Tai Su Ying. Ten, seven. Yeah, wrong footing her opponent here. One or two steps forward before the punch clears coming. Decided to take the last Steps one. Over. A little Eleven, bit undecided eight, on the sideline, Tai Su Ying. I think that was a good decision. And goes into the mid game interval with a lead of 11 8. Confirmation nine minutes of play in the second game, 11 8. Тут же играешь, она так устроит первый первый удар делает в игру, продолжает так по этой стороне сразу же сразу же убирать. Смотри, ты даже если возвращаешь туда высокий, следует она, например, Eleven, eight, play. Yeah, good play. Good hold and flick. From Sensova, the Virginia, nine, eleven. Just 10, one point in it, 10-11. And I think the patience of Kusetskaya is definitely paying off. She's hanging in there. Yeah, on the line. And back level, 11 all. That's good play from the player from the Russian Federation. Yeah, 
That's delightful. Seven silver. Twelve. Eleven. Really nice shot here. Look at this. Just delaying the shot and play towards the net rather than lifting it. Takes a lot of skills to do so. with how she's forcing her body weight Thirteen. behind that shot on the forehand side Eleven. through the sister's jump. Look at that. A perfect balance. And then, should it ever come back, she's already on her way forward. I think that was poetry in motion. That was really nice play. Fourteen, eleven. That's wide. And now, of course, it's going to really 15, have to watch out. He's running away from her. It was eleven all. Every single time, Tyson Yip decides to go on the attack. It's very, very dangerous for Kusetskaya. I think her centre of gravity is a little bit... She's standing up a little bit too upright in her defence. I find it very hard to deal with these shots coming down in her feet. Yevgenia Kosetskaya challenge call in. The shot is called in and we have a challenge. And that's Correction, a out. good challenge. The shot is out. Seven over. 13, 17, play. Yeah, apologizing Seven straight over. away, 18, playing that shot from the 13. back of the court and then badly deflected by the top of the tape. Oh, that's bad luck. No way Tyson Yin would have got to that one. Match point, but 13. Match point coming up here in favour of Tyson Yin. 20, match point 13. Wide, overdone it. Seven over, fourteen twenty. Seven 
Uh, game. Second time of asking. Kept that shot in on the back line, that hold and flick towards the deep forehand corner of her opponent, Kosechkaya. Match won by tied to win 21-10, 21-14. And it's really, really nice to see Tai Su Ying back on the circuit. As I mentioned earlier, I'm sure we are many. That's missed her. And great performance. And as I said earlier, spare thought for Kusetskaya. It's a very, very difficult match to play against the world number one. However, I think she did really well. Lots of good things she can take from this match and bring it in to the game of the future. Perfect hold and flick from the forehand side from Tai Su Ying on this match point. Confirmation of the scoreline. 21-10, 21-14. In just 30 minutes of play. And the next match coming up is the men's doubles in Sven Lane and Sean Bendy of England against Fabian Delwy and William Bilicci of France. So don't go away. We have yet another exciting match for you. Up 